Guys, I'm back. I'm back. Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Sorry, 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 sorry. But yeah, I'm back again. Back to my normal speaking levels. For all the people that said I was shouting, dickheads, innit? Dickheads, dickheads. Like, respectfully, respectfully, dickheads. You know what I'm saying? Everyone else who likes my normal shouting tone, I love you all, man. I love you. You're allowing me to be me. Mwah. I love you all. I wish I could hug you right now, but I'm giving you a virtual hug. Mwah. Sorry. But yeah, not to the guys, though. <laughs> Respond to the guys. <laughs> no, but on the reels, though, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for the comments and the support. I really, really, really appreciate it. Like, it means a lot to me. Because I'm still new on this YouTube path. I'm still, you get me? I, like, I'm still trying to find my way out here, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, anyway, I saw an interview this morning. Curtis. Curtis was on um, Good Morning Britain. This, and, and this morning, obviously. <laughs> when, when else? But yeah, he was there this morning. And uh, he spoke about his whole Love Island experience and things like that. It was all good and stuff, yeah? But what a lot of people are getting mad about, yeah? Because I saw this on Twitter. People are actually upset. And you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Let me not even start it like that. I know why people are upset. Because in the interview, when you watch it, yeah? He's been pressured. He's almost been pressured to label his sexuality, yeah? Which, like, I don't know if Curtis is confused or get playing a game. Genuinely. And, like, last time I'd done a video, yeah? Like, people thought... A, a few people was in the comments saying, oh, I'm gay or I'm homophobic. I'm not. I'm not, like, I just make a joke of, like, of, of, of shit, of whatever it is. I just, I just, I just report it how I report it. Like, I just, just because I'm saying gay jokes doesn't mean I'm homophobic. Like, I got nothing against gay people. One of the funniest jokes I had told about black people was from a white person. I told, I, I kid you not. Do you know what I'm saying? Real talk. Like, people are too sensitive these day and age. A white guy said to me, he goes, oh, Fred. Why is it two things black people can't get? I said, what is it? He said a job and a black eye. And I was in tears. I'm not going to lie. I was in tears. I was in actual tears. I was like, you fucking dickhead. You dickhead. Like, it's good banter. It's good banter. It's not personal. It's not nothing like that. We're just playing on stereotypes. That's all it is. Do you know what I'm saying? It's nothing. Not like It's not personal. You know what I'm saying? It's not that deep. To me anyway, do you know what I'm saying? It might be that deep to other people. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. It's about Curtis on Good Morning Britain and the fact that they were pressuring him to label his sexuality. There, 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 there are some discussions since your comments about people saying, well, for, for men in particular, yes. they find it very hard to come out as bisexual. And, you know, if you were bisexual, perhaps you should just, just say that. And, and whether, you know, whether in a way you're just, there might be a concern on your part to, to come out as being, just say very openly, as a man in Britain in 2019, I'm bisexual. I don't feel like I'm... The reason why... Curtis was being questioned. We saw him on the TV screen as a game player. He played Amy like Connect Four. I swear down. He played her like Monopoly. He played her differently. Do you know what I'm saying? And for him to come back out and say he never even ever saw a future with them two. Like, we like, whoa. So all this, all this stuff you are doing this whole time was just fake. You were doing it for the cameras. Because when that tweet came in and you realised he wasn't a favourite couple, you dumped the girl. So, from the screen, we've seen that this guy is a game player. They, like, they actually said to him in the interview, they said, oh, we feel like we know you, even though we don't know you, because we've been seeing you on the screen all this time. That's how everyone feels. And we've seen that you're a game player. I'm not going to lie, the interview technique could have been a lot, lot, lot better, because, like, the woman um, and the guy, they were both saying to him, oh, so what, are you bisexual? Like, what is it, sort of thing, yeah? Like, and the thing is, yeah, Personally, this is my personal opinion. I think Curtis knows exactly what he wants. He's just milking the situation like he did with Amy. That's his character. He knows exactly what he wants. Watch when all, all this dies down. Remember from my videos, I was saying this guy's gay. He's going to come out after and he's come out now. Yeah. Watch when all this dies down. That's when him and Mora won't be together no more. And you, you'll see him with some next man. Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's, that's my feeling on that. 